the eyes and ears of their community. Keeping people and property safe is a job this next voluntary group does so well. Please welcome to the stage Wairoa Community Patrol. Hey look, that's just checking to make sure that you're all awake, and so am I. Hey look, a big thanks to Trust Power for leaving the best act to last. So we acknowledge all that. Kia ora. Gosh, we've heard that a few times this weekend, haven't we, over the last two days. So all I'm going to say, the car pies and the I, change those to nine and ten on your score sheet. <laughs> hey look, I'm the Mayor of Wairau. Um, I'm proud of it. Um, I'm proud to have these two young fellows, and would you believe they are the youngest of the um, community patrol in Wairau? We, 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 we're, we're from the gateway to the galaxy, rocket lab country, um, Wairau, where Maori culture is a normal way of life. So we didn't have to come up here, it was all good, but come down to Wairau sometime. Hey, these two volunteers are doing their best to keep our place safe. I really acknowledge them. You know, for me, these are real volunteers. We get the credit around the council table with the mayors and the councillors doing a good job, but these guys are doing it. Take it away, boys. Kia My name's Charlie, and this is my fellow patroller, Dave. Kia ora, tata. Firstly, thank you to our mayor and to Trust Power for giving us this opportunity to present here this weekend. We represent the Wairau Community Patrol. We are purpose is to empower the communities to prevent crime, create safer environments through the utilisation of trained patrollers, young fellows like us. Well, me anyway, Charlie. We volunteer to give our time working with the police to make order our community a safer environment which to live. All patrol applicants are vetted by the police before becoming a member. Each member must be, sign a declaration of confidentiality and agree to abide by it. We are affiliated to the Community Patrols of New Zealand. A condition of affiliation is that the patrol has the support and confidence of the police and has a police liaison officer allocated to it. Applicants must complete a period of training and work alongside senior patrollers. We work with the police to identify suspicious activities and trouble spots in our area. We notify the police as we are their eyes and ears only and do not take part in any physical confrontations, unless it's amongst ourselves. They're a valuable bunch. They've had some good captures. They've had uh, caught people smoking cannabis. So obviously they know what the smell of cannabis is like, I'm not quite sure because I've never showed them. And they've put a few drink drivers for us so they can obviously recognise a drink driver when they see one, which is great. Uh, the Wairau Community Patrols are an invaluable service for us here. They go out there and they look at all our hotspots, if we identify hotspots, if we have burglaries in the area, they go out there and do that. They uh, work at our community events, a uh, huge thing there. They're also um, do prevention patrols and that's a huge thing for us is that if we're out there and we're being seen and the community patrol is a part of that, it's going to stop a lot of the a lot of the incidents that happen out, out there. So they're wonderful. Kapai. The Wairau Patrol was started on a very limited budget. We had to use our own private cars. The patrollers ran sausage sizzles, fundraising activities to supplement the finance to run this patrol. Since then, we've managed to get financial assistance from the police, the Wairau District Council, and other trusts. Our patrol has links with the Wairau District Council, don't we, Your Worship? Yes, sir. <laughs> and we report problems within the council such as indiscriminate rubbish dumping, vandalism and burn up through some of the parks, we report directly to the council. Our patrol has been going for seven years. Our members are dedicated volunteers with a total of 122 years service to the fire brigade, 42 years to the ambulance service and 30 years to the lions, lionesses, rotary, CAB and other volunteer groups. 
Volunteerism is very strong amongst, amongst our members. We are all proud of our town and want to put something back into our community. We want to make Wairoa a safer town to live and work in. The minimum time we expect from our patrollers is two hours a month. Because we're a small unit, we are doing eight to 10 hours a month. Some may even patrol three times a week. As you see, we are a dedicated lot. And what do we do while we're out on patrol, Charlie? Our patrol is varied. On the time of day or night, we have a patrol during the day, but most of our patrolling is done at night. We patrol in pairs. One drives the car, the other takes note and is in control of the radio. Our daytime patrol drives around our lovely town and always does a walk around the streets and in some of the shops. We patrol the local camping ground and some of the local walkways. At night, we patrol, patrols drive around the streets, also drive around the backs of shops and buildings. We often catch someone at night doing graffiti or trying doorways or just lurking around parked cars. We are often called on at night to do patrol outside of halls or meetings, to watch the parked cars we, and to make sure gates that should be locked are locked. We check on the homes of people on holiday who have registered with the police. We patrol the local cemetery around the schools, especially in the holidays, public toilets and our airport. We also patrol the local AMP show. We have pamphlets, which we slip under the windscreen wipers to inform the public not to leave valuables on their seats in full view and to please lock your car. We find in the hospital car park that people are often a bit careless when they're in a hurry to get into the hospital. We had a recent experience of stranger danger where someone was trying to pick up children outside the schools at home, at home time in our district. We patrolled outside the schools for weeks. This created a safer environment for our children and our families. So what benefit are we to Wairoa, Charlie? We know that graffiti in the town has been reduced to almost nil, and we get some positive feedback from the public. They say we make them feel safer when they see us about. Kia ora everyone, my name is Sam Abrahama and I'm the Area Commander for the Tairawhiti Police. I'd like to congratulate our community patrollers in Wairo for an outstanding effort in winning the regionals in 2016. I hosted a dinner towards the end of last year to thank each and every one of the 14 volunteers who do a great job volunteering in our community. They fundraised for a vehicle, we installed a police radio, they are the eyes and ears in our community. They are highly visible in hotspot areas throughout Wairau. They patrol events. They monitor our CCTV cameras. They do a number of foot patrols. Their prevention activity is highly regarded and in support of our local police in Wairau. They are a fantastic resource and we couldn't do without them. Best of luck at the Nationals team. Wairua and Tairawhiti are proud of you and wish you all the very best. And to finish, I'd like to thank all our patrol members, the Wairua District Council and the police for their support. We can only get better in time. And have you seen the program on TV, The Good Sorts? Well, that's what we are. We are, we are the, the Wairua Good, good Sorts. sorts. <laughs> thank well, you. Well,